It's you, we have to get our legs out. But I cannot get my legs out if I haven't got a pair of shorts that fit me. I was trying on shorts the other day and I have a few from before my pregnancy that oh, still don't fit me and I have a few from after the pregnancy that are way too wide. So let's make a pair. I bought a lovely denim material that I've ironed already three times, so let's see. And I have my blocks of measurements ready to use. I don't like shorts too short, so I'm going to measure from my waistline down to where I want them to be. And it is 37 centimeters plus the um, hem. And one thing we have to take into account is the grain line. We don't want them to twist and if we're not careful with that, not only with patterns, if we want the pattern to be straight, but with plain materials as well, because if not, they'll twist and they'll be uncomfortable. We're going to trace our shirts from our block of measurements. The first seam is going to be the back seam, so then we can sew front and back together. We need to interface the waistband and then sew it together so we can add it to the trousers and then hem it. I'm measuring the length along the side seams and one thing I'm going to do is that because I want them to have an elasticated back, I'm going to, on the back panels, go straight up from the hip because you have to wiggle your hips in there and that way we'll have room to put them on and take them off. And one thing I did is that I have my fabric folded and that way I'll cut both at the same time. Of course, with each video, I like to learn something new, to practice something I haven't practiced before or to use some tool I haven't used before. With this one, there's nothing new, but I haven't made a proper waistband since I did two that went terribly wrong, two skirts that I still have to fix but uh, I haven't done them because after that the trousers and skirts I've made have been without waistbands just with the zipper on the side so I want to do one properly I have my pieces cut and one thing is that the back panel has a drop from the center seam to the sides because if not it will be tight on your bum so what I did is that because I made the waistline a bit wider because I wanted to come up from my hips with the elastic band, I also elongated this line and made it softer. This is how I'm doing. It's a fairly easy project to start with, but if you don't feel comfortable about making trousers, I really recommend that you make your own block of measurements. I leave you the link here. But if for this pair of trousers, because they have a loose back, you can even trace it from a pair of trousers that suit you really well. 
uh, taking into account that you have to go from the hip to the waist straight not make it tighter or fit it or anything so now with the waistband I didn't cut the waistband in the beginning because I thought it would be easier to measure now the amount of fabric I need. So I'm going to cut this amount of material and the elastic is the one that's going to make it fit and then the width will be the width of the elastic and then well double the width of the elastic of course and then uh, two centimeters extra for seam allowance. The interfacing only goes on the front of the waistband and that way you get a more formal look, not formal, but not as casual as having the whole thing elasticated. And I'm going to cut from side uh, seam to side seam that length and the five centimeters that are going to be the, uh, the width of the waistband. The waistband seam is going to be located on the back so that way if we center the interfacing and the waistband we get it on the front and once this is done and iron we can place it right sides together and sew it to the trousers to the shorts shorts because everything is searched even though I have a few stitches missing in, from my serger it gives it a much professional look and I love how the seams are all centered to each other really nice this last seam I've just done I'm not going to open like the rest like I've done with the iron because I want it to be hidden inside the waistband so now I'm going to fold the waistband and make a double hem to sew on top of this seam the plan is to sew it on the right side of the material of the garment so that way the stitches are in the middle of that seam but now I am going to paste because I want it to be really nice. And of course, to get the elastic in, I'm going to leave two little caps on the side seams, on the side of the trousers, so I can get it that way. I have my piece of elastic band already cut. How would you measure it? Well, it depends on how elasticated it is or how hard or how you like it. If you like it really tight or a bit looser. And what I did is that I measured my back. The, the mic thing is there, but I measured my back and I took into account that I need a, a bit for the side seams and then I cut it. I just did it like that, a bit eyeballing. I like eyeballing a lot. Now I'm going to put it in with the help of a safety pin and secure it with some pins so I can sew it on the side seams and then finish the bit that was open. And to hem it I'm going to be measuring the amount I want to take up and as well I'm going to be ironing so it's easier to do. And this is the final result. Here I am with my shorts. I've put my legs on. I really like the result. I love the waistband and how neat it looks on the front, even though it looks a bit baggy on the back. 
maybe it wasn't the most the best material to do this with maybe a cotton will have been less bulky probably but i thought it because it's a, like a summer type of denim i thought it would be okay but i still like it i think i'm going to wear them a lot if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content because i upload a video once a week and that way you don't miss anything i would really appreciate it it would mean a lot to me and it helps the channel grow and i leave you to all the trousers i've made so you stick around for a while bye